built a location sensor into Dr. Harding's satellite phone, so we should be getting a reading. Yeah, I'm so relieved. I'll push up my buttons. Okay. William, I'm warning from last time. almost on top of hard dodge. Back. You should be right. Right on here. Over, over there. Sarah's, do you think, are on this island? Sarah! Sarah! Sit! What? Something big. So majestic. So powerful. So bizarrely named. Pumba? How can a rock be proud? It's a rock! Well, I think it's because a pride is what they call a group of lions. Oh, sure, the lions get pride rock. And what about us meerkats? Where I come from, we didn't have nothing to be proud of. Why? <clears throat> when I was a young meerkat. When he was a young meerkat! Very nice. Thanks. But maybe it'd be safer if I just show him where I came from. Oh boy, do we get to see where you grew up? Yeah, Pumba, but it ain't pretty. Please remain seated while the camera is in motion. Oh, yikes. Wow. This is... This is magnificent. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ah, that's how it always starts. But then later there's running and, and screaming. Wow. You got the jump on us here a little bit, didn't you, Sue? Yeah. <laughs> Ian, I never thought in a million years how I'm going to get you to come here. <laughs> hey, Eddie. Hi, Sarah. Got a granola bar or something? I'm starving. <laughs> Those animals just walked by. Did you see them? It was a family group. A pair bond and a sub-adult, long after the juvenile was nest found. Every egg clutch I've seen has got shells crushed and trampled. The hatchlings definitely stay in the birth environment for an extended period of time. That's conclusive. I could put that controversy to rest if I can just get a shot of the nest. You haven't been attacked? Oh, no. That's my lucky pack. That's how it always looks. OK, Sarah. Is that an icon? Yeah, an icon. Um, can, can I borrow that? I'll be right back, baby, I promise. Sarah, when Hammond called you, uh, why didn't you say something to me? Because I knew you would have stopped me from coming. I would have tied you to the bed. I right. figured out how the animals survive without lysine. I don't care. If you look at the diets of the herbivore species that are thriving, they eat mostly agama beans, soy, anything lysine rich. And the carnivores, well, they eat the herbivores. So... Wait, wait. Shh, shh, shh. Just stay there. Be quiet. Be right back. Sarah, no, no! No. Oh. 